Hi there you guys, this is Wendy uh, coming to you. I wanted at least to get you, got an, you guys an idea who have been <laughs> entering my die cut challenge. Um, some of the stuff I've been gathering for the prize package. I don't have everything together. Um, certainly I'll be pulling some other things. I'm actually even toying around with adding a, a junk journal that I make. Um, and so as things come available to me and certainly before the July 22nd deadline, I will um, keep you updated. But for right now, this is kind of the stuff that I've gathered and wanted to just show you that so you didn't think I was just uh, pulling your leg or not that I wasn't going to give away a prize. Um, and so let me just show you some of the things. I have these post-it notes or little page flags that are tree shaped. I have these spring themed tags from Target. I have these really pretty um, craft paper and gold round tags from Joann's. Um, you saw this in my very first haul video. I actually um, got multiples on this. So this is silver stencil paint. This is some washi tape with the foxes and the uh, stripes. I found these really cool um, pens at the Dollar Tree the other day. They are multicolored ink gel pens and I got a set for myself. I have not tried them, but how cool do they look? Can you see all the different inks kind of melded together in the barrel? Um, so I thought those would be fun. I have some page flags, also Dollar Tree. A lot of this is Dollar Tree, and it's not me trying to be a cheap ass, but I just like Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, I just think they've got some cool stuff these days, and um, so I got you things that I certainly would like and use myself. So um, anyway, I am including some of my favorite lace stickers. We have another kind of uh, border or edge. We have their, um, they have a lot of kind of vintagey floral, um, those sorts of stickers. And so I've included four of those. We have some black and white alphabet stickers some aqua red and brown stickers, some purple uh, and pink letter stickers. Uh, we have this, what they call a paper pennant, um, but I think that with a lot of ladies having banner challenges, um, those might be fun templates or beginnings. So uh, there are those. Let's see here. Um, I also, the other day, found these washies. We have a jean material one and uh, this little starburst pattern in the grays. We have this purple diamond, uh, purple and pink diamond shape. And then this green and red, which I think you could use not just Christmas time, but any time. Um, and this, which I just used in the junk journal that I showed you guys a couple videos back, and I'm in love with it. I wish there would have been more. <laughs> um, it's kind of a nice wide, it's probably meant for, you know, sealing your packages. It's highly tacky. You could probably almost use it for a book spine, quite honestly. Um, but I just like the patterns. You know, I, I think that they're going with the, um, you could color it in. <laughs> kind of theme, you know, how everybody's into coloring books. Um, but I like it just black and white. And um, so I'm going to include that. And um, I have a selection. I'm into these notepads. And I especially think they're kind of cool these days for um, including in junk journals. And I like them as spaces to write, but there's a things to do with the days of the week. There's this coffee themed list pad, a hoo hoo to do list, 
with the owls on top. We have this striped notepad with all the really pretty vibrant colors. And then this one, which I think is really cute, it's got the teacups. And then up at the top, it's got calendar pages, which you guys know I love. Um, so um, that's what I've got for you so far on the prize packages. And um, like I said, certainly I'm going to be gathering up other things um, uh, until we reach the 22nd. And um, I'm pretty sure, I would say about 80% sure that I'm going to go ahead and make a junk journal to add as well. Um, I do think that I need to um, go ahead and do kind of a default response as far as my international people who are sending internationally. Um, I do think it's fair to me to go ahead and uh, reserve the right to go ahead and um, you know do some money on a, your PayPal as opposed to sending this out. I fully imagine that this would be super expensive and so hopefully people that are sending to me internationally will not you know balk at that <laughs> or have a problem with that. Um, certainly if they do, if they feel gypped and are not getting these goodies, um, I, I will do the best I can to get them mailed out. But ideally what I'd like to do, like I said, is substitute some um, money sent over to the PayPal account. So, um, I just thought I would share that just so you guys know that I am indeed uh, gearing up to give a, a prize for those of you who still might be tossing around whether or not you, um, you know, whether you're going to enter the die cut challenge, that this is um, just a start. Um, and certainly I will be gathering some more items. And so if you're still considering it, there's still some time. Deadline on that is the 22nd, I believe. Um, you'd have to go back to the video to confirm. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, there's still plenty of time and know that there's going to be a, a big juicy prize package. <laughs> and if you have any questions, certainly let me know. Um, otherwise, um, thanks for watching and I will speak with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.